Hello, my sewing friends. Ever wonder what happens when a sewist goes into a thrift store for a clock? Stay tuned. I'm Jen and this is my sewing room and yes indeed I am a sewist and I went into Goodwill for a clock and oh my gosh I cannot believe what I walked out with I honestly can't believe it my daughter has a Harry Potter clock it's about that big and it's got the you know it's old-fashioned kind of looking with the bells and it's never worked and so she was going to give it away and I said well, well, well wait wait a minute how about if I go look for the clock parts and maybe I can fix it well I know exactly what I need I couldn't find it in the craft shops like Hobby Lobby or Walmart or I didn't even try Joann's because they all sell about the same thing and what I need is an old clock that I can pull the guts out of and use so I went into Goodwill because I was running errands and I thought, oh, this won't take very long. I just need an analog clock that came off of somebody's wall. You know, it'll probably be, I don't know, maybe two or three dollars. So I was, I went in, was looking for that, could not find any clocks at all. Then I finally found some like bedside alarm clocks and no, that wasn't gonna work. So I'm walking around and of course I thought, well, I'm here, I'll go look through the linens because that's always worth a look, even though I had just been there and looked through linens, but you never know, it's a thrift store. So, you know, stuff changes. So I found a few things and so I'm carrying them around and thinking, mm, you know what, I need a cart. So I went and got a cart. And then I thought I would mosey over for another look along the well to see if I could find any clocks because I thought, oh, I'm probably looking right at one and I just don't see it. So I was really paying attention and I thought, oh, wait a minute. There's that place where they had fabric the other day and my Goodwill doesn't generally carry fabric, but they had these fabrics in bags and I was fortunate enough to find one recently. It was only five bucks for what was in a bag. You can't open the bags to see what's in them but you can kind of get a sense from, you know, I mean, they're clear plastic bags. So uh, I glanced down and I thought, oh, they have some new things. Now these bags were $15, they were $14.99. And I thought, hmm, that's kind of steep for a thrift store. And it's probably got just little pieces of stuff in it. It's probably somebody was just, you know, getting rid of their scraps, but I don't know. I was looking through the bags and this caught my eye. This was one of the pieces that you could see. And I loved this little seam. And there's also a couple of other little seams. And I thought, hmm. So I texted my expert eye friend, my thrifting friend and my sewing sister, my other half, Trish and I said what do you think and she goes well 15 bucks isn't bad that's a pretty thick bag and I thought okay I thought about it for a few minutes and I thought oh what the heck I'm just gonna get both of them because I had pulled out two bags so I did and then I came home and I was thrilled with the linens that I got so I'll show you those first but you all holy moly y'all I started getting into these bags and I couldn't believe it. I just, I was texting Trish as I went. I'd take a picture and go, can you believe this? Can you believe this? Can you believe this? So yes, I was dead away from shock. And then I was revived because, you know, I have a life and I gotta get stuff done. So, okay, the linens I found. First of all, I think this is a scarf. It was hanging back where the linens were. So I don't know if it was a table runner, if somebody thought it was a table runner, I don't know what. Maybe they just couldn't find anywhere else to put it, but this is, a woven piece of cotton. It is about um, a yard wide, about 36 inches wide, and it's uh, about, I don't know, a yard and a half in length, but it is woven cotton, which, uh, you know, you probably know this, but that means that the threads are, are dyed before they're woven together. So the pattern that it makes is the same on the uh, one side as the other. The right side and the wrong side are always the same. Plaids, gingham, these kinds of things are usually woven patterns um, that get woven together. 
So in the, the uh, opposite of this is print, or maybe not the opposite, but you know, they're not printed. Like the dye pattern is not printed onto the fabric. Rather, the threads are dyed, then they're woven together. Okay, yeah, having said that, that's what this is. It's got this fun little tassel fringe on the bottom. And so I just thought, ooh, that's wide enough for the front and the back of a skirt. So yeah, maybe I'll do something with that. Or maybe a pair of shorts, I don't know. I'll figure it out. Then I saw this, this is a round tablecloth. And it is the colors that I know one of my kids likes. She lives with me. So I brought it home and she goes, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. She loves the combination of the brown and the uh, like a tan beige with this aqua teal color. And I do too. And so she told me exactly what she wants in a circle skirt. I said, fine, I can do that. So that's what that'll become. And then I found these two shower curtains. They were uh, hanging together. And so I picked up one, I was just gonna get the one, and then I thought, what the heck, I'll just get them both. So I did. These are Vera Wang, so I don't know, Kohl's maybe is where they came from, but they are stitched in such a way that they are like pin tucks. And so they stretch a little bit. You can kind of see how the pin tucks work. And so they're not as, this isn't as wide as a lot of shower curtains might otherwise be because, probably because I've washed it, but it is 100% uh, cotton. And I love that stretch that it has because it's woven, but you could easily make um, anything that has anything stretchy required. Um, maybe not anything, but a lot of stretchy things. So this shower curtain is 60 inches wide. Actually, it's 64 inches wide by about a yard and three quarters in length. Sometimes you'll find one that's two yards or close to two yards. So I have two pieces now that are that wide and that long. So whatever I want to do with it, if I need more of it or if I mess it up or something like that, then that I'll, I'll have uh, two lengths of that. So that'll be nice. Then I picked, you know, I'm looking for these clocks, mosey over and I pick up these two bags of their plastic bags full of fabric. And like I say, this was what caught my eye on the first one. And Trish said, yeah, maybe you should go ahead and get them. So I did, got home, started opening them up and it was amazing. I'm gonna start with the pieces that are not as important to me and then I'll get to the ones that are. I'll, I'll finish on a big bang note. This is a bag and when I pulled them out, it's a lot of strips uh, that have been cut for quilting or they're just pieces that, um, were left over from pieces cut for a quilt. And a lot of them are like this. You know, they're strips that were cut specifically to put in a quilt. So they're already cut. There are a lot of squares. There are a lot of these kind of strips. Um, there are a fair amount of just little odd and end pieces, but it's a whole bag of them. These bags were full of little uh, smaller Ziploc bags that were labeled with the yardage for each one. So that was amazing. I did find two, uh, these are scraps. This one is a yard, but it's got a big chunk cut out of the back of it. So that's okay. Uh, this might be, um, I don't know, it might go with something else that I already have that I can use, I don't know, to color block or accent or I don't know what. I, I'll figure it out. but. This is a directional print and I love all the colors. So beautiful. This is uh, the other big scrap that I found. This is a knit, actually. It's a cotton knit and you can tell it was 60 wide, but it's just the pieces that are left over from whatever it was that was made out of this. It's a bit of a juvenile print, like what you'd find at Joanne Fabrics, like in their pop section, which is a lot of juvenile prints. But this is just fish and crabs. <laughs> and turtles and really fun stuff. So I don't know if there's enough there to do anything with uh, in terms of making like a t-shirt or something. Probably there is if I color blocked it out. So maybe I'll do that. There are a few, there are, let's see, one, two, three, four prints that I'm going to pass along to uh, someone I know that's a quilter. Um, 
and I know that she'll be able to use these. This first one, uh, all, all of them go together except for two, I guess half of them go together. This is scenes from a, probably a 4th of July here in the US parade. And it's just all kinds of things. You've got um, Uncle Sam and the Boy Scouts and a couple of baton twirlers and you know, there's a lemonade stand and some other things. Uh, so just, uh, I forget what kind of prints these are called, but that's what that is. So that is probably the kind of thing where you would cut out the seam from uh, the fabric and then you just use that as a piece of the quilt. And these two things go with it. So we've got red with stars and red with stars. <laughs> so these two, and then you can see it kind of all goes together. So those are gonna go to a new home. This is a kind of like a Cape Cod print. Light blue and navy, reminds me of Nantucket or Martha's Vineyard. Um, just, you know, things like lighthouses and tugboats and that kind of thing. Uh, that is a calico cotton, like a quilting cotton. And this one is beautiful. This is like maps. And I love this so much. I love this fabric, but I don't know what I would ever do with it. So um, I just love maps. I love map looking things. So it's got this beautiful bird and some fish and a seahorse and some crabs and what looks like some postcards and just beautiful, beautiful scenes from tropical islands. I don't know all about a tropical island. Okay, so there's all that stuff. Then I got into the good stuff. Oh my goodness, you all. Oh my goodness. So remember how I said this caught my eye? Well, there was a bigger piece in there. This one is one and three quarters yards and it is a cotton sateen. It feels a little bit heavy, like a poplin weight, but it is gorgeous. Look at this, how beautiful this is. Oh my goodness. And it's just such a nice weight fabric. There are one and three quarters yards in this piece. And then the little piece that I saw is another quarter yard. So there are two yards total of this. Oh, beautiful. There's just a quarter of a yard of this one. But the thing that caught my eye about it is that it's a Patty Reed design. I think it goes like this. I really took the time to make sure that I looked at the selvages of a lot of these, of all of these really. And I wanted to know if they are designer quilt fabrics and a couple of them are. So that one's Patty Reed. I have a Patty Reed pattern actually, a dress that I made. Uh, I think, is it Simplicity? Might be Simplicity, that's so cute. This one is three quarters of a yard and it's flip flops. Oh my goodness. That is just one of those whimsical prints that you just you just think, what could I use that for? Surely there's something I can use that for. This one is one yard and it is gorgeous. Just gorgeous. The colors in this, I've pinned on all these little tags so I can remember how much they are. I mean, how what the yardage is. But here's this one. Isn't that beautiful? Oh. Just all those colors, lobsters, crabs, fish. These are all very tropical water themed. That's one of the things that blew me away about it. This is Robert Kaufman. That's actually a very, <laughs> a very a kind of a high-end quilting cotton uh, or a very nice quilting cotton, let's put it that way. I don't know if it's the actual, you know, Nordstrom of cottons, but yeah, it's nice. It's not Target, I'll tell you that. This is just beautiful, just gorgeous. That blue and the green of the palm trees. Oh, again, a directional print. And that I, surprises me that so many of these are like that. This one I think is probably my favorite. This one is a yard and three quarters. Gorgeous, just gorgeous cotton. Oh the sundress that I could make from this. Oh, it'll be so pretty. Just all the colors in this are just 
this is my kind of print. This is Hawaii fabric mark kind of stuff going on here. Love that. Uh, all 100% cotton too. Uh, this one is really cute and I love it because I love the colors. It's crabs. Maybe I could call this my crabby dress, my crabby outfit. There's only a yard of it though, so maybe it would be my crabby top. I could wear it when I was crabby. This one is, um, it's not a border print, but it's kind of that idea where it's, you know, the stripes. So it says relax and see all kinds of things on it. Seahorses, shells, uh, just, yeah. And beautiful colors with the um, kind of, uh, I don't know, it's like gray, it's gray. And uh, kind of like a tan color and it's just, oh, beautiful. Now this one is two and a half yards and it does go with those other quilting fabrics, but I think this amount of yardage I can probably use. So I'm gonna go ahead and keep this one. Um, it's just, I don't know what those are, wheels, flowers, I don't know, pieces, <laughs> round things, I don't know. This is such a, a soft, smooth cotton that feels wonderful. So I don't know what that's gonna make. And it doesn't, this red doesn't really suit me, but I, all my girls, um, McKenna, Michaela, um, Jenna and, well, and Emma, they all look great in these colors. They just, they just do. And this one is <clears throat> more of like a home deck fabric. Um, it's not, I don't think it's home deck. I think it's just a, uh, like a quilting, um, cotton or a calico that you could use, but it's just got really pretty colors. I don't know that they're my colors and I don't know what I would use this for. I don't know. I may pass this one along also, but yeah, there's a yard of that one. Then there's one and three fourths yards of this. And this is home deck fabric. It's like, uh, what is, I forget what the sunbrella. It's not a sunbrella print, but it is really a nice print. The kind of thing that you would cover your patio chairs in. So for me, I think I might use this to make a bag that um, was created by Andra from Andra Makes. She's a quilter and she, um, does things like designs patterns for crafty kinds of things for um, Quilts and more, is that the name of the magazine? But she's published and she's a big deal. So yeah, um, she sent me the pattern for this little carry-all bag that I wanna make and I know I wanna make it out of this. As Soon as I pulled that out, I thought, oh, that's what that's becoming. There are three yards of this. This is adorable. It's cotton, obviously. It's from Joann's and it is, I'll show you the side that doesn't have the tag on it. It is whales and octopus and a turtle and some fish and a crab. Oh, so cute. Just very, very cute. Very juvenile, but just sweet as it can be in this pale blue and a little bit of green there. Gorgeous. And the very last piece is three yards of this flannel. And this is also from Joann's. And it's just fish. <laughs> oh, this flannel feels so soft. It hasn't been washed. I haven't washed any of these yet. I wanted to uh, wait till I showed you. So there are three yards of that. That's actually plenty good enough for a, a nightgown if I wanted to make one for some person in my life. I don't know that I would want a nightgown out of this, but I don't know. All kinds of things you can do with flannel, right? So that is what can happen when you go in to Goodwill for a clock and you walk out with this kind of a jackpot. I'm thrilled. I am just thrilled. So let me know what you think of this amazing haul and have you run across any amazing thrift store finds lately? If you have, tell me all about it. You know I love talking to you in the comments. And just like always, if you would like to see a playlist of my thrift store finds, things that I lucked into or I just happened to be at the right place at the right time, then have a look right over here. And that's it for now for me. I will see you next time. Thanks for watching and never forget who loves you the most.